Located in the heart of the Mediterranean Sea, the Republic of Malta plays a crucial role bridging Europe and Africa, earning the title, Heart of Europe. Dr. Hong Dao Zi, President of the Federation of World Peace and Love, FOPAL, led the FOPAL delegation to Malta to promote a culture of peace with love and conscience from November the 7th to 9, 2023. On November the 9th, the delegation visited Malta's presidential palace with Maltese President George Vela in Belgium, Professor Frank Betsina, acting president as per the Constitution, acknowledged FOPAL's global advocacy for love and peace. Acting President Betsina, well-versed in Dr. Hong's compass clock of conscience, promptly emphasized its key representations, time, direction, and goal. He conveyed sincere gratitude to Dr. Hong Daozi and the delegation for marking for love and peace Malta as the 102nd nation visited by FOPAL. Additionally, he endorsed the Declaration of World Day of the Power of Hope, highlighting the importance of collective conscience-driven action and the power of hope in advancing global security and sustainability. On November the 8th, following the 24th International Conference of Chief Justices of the World in India, Dr. Hong Dao Zi led the FOPAL delegation to Malta's Ministry for Justice. Despite Minister of Justice Jonathan Edwards' prior engagement preventing a meeting, he delegated Claudio Camilleri, the head of Secretariat, to personally welcome the delegation. On behalf of the minister, Claudio Camilleri presented Dr. Hong and the delegation a glass artwork embodying Maltese culture, a book on preservation techniques for monumental paintings, and a limited edition replica of the painting, Justice and Prudence. This artwork portrays Lady Justice and Lady Prudentia, symbolizing justice and the virtue of prudence, respectively. Originally presented to the European Commission for the Efficiency of Justice, on its 20th anniversary, the painting carries a profound message, emphasizing the importance of making judicious and responsible decisions with justice, introspection, and prudence. This resonates with the culture of conscience that FOPAL tirelessly promotes worldwide. Uh, we are here welcoming the FOPAL, which is a very, very beautiful organization which uh, encourages peace, love, and hope um, in the world, which is unfortunately and uh, in, today's, in today's world, uh, we are living in time of conflict and spreading hope and love is the most important thing in, during the current times. On November the 9th, Dr. Hong Dao Zi guided the FOPAL delegation to Malta's Ministry of National Heritage, Arts and Local Government. The delegation was warmly received by Alexander Faruja and Noel Formosa, the director and manager of the Culture Directorate, respectively. Noel Formosa, a long-standing mayor of San Lovrens, said that at a time when the world is very unstable, it is a blessing for the world that there is an organization like FOPAL that promotes love and peace. We can appreciate what's common between us, and even more so, what makes us all different individuals and unique. And uh, uh, only in that way, being open to each other, that we can achieve peace, and in peace, uh, we can live better, we can live longer, we can live healthier, and um, we can create a better world for us and for future generations. We will try to do our best even to be ambassadors of peace as you are doing. Thank you for the care, for the love, for um, promoting culture, especially promoting the culture of peace and love. If we are able to um, continue to work on these two important virtues we, we live in, I think we will be able to have a better world for the present and the for future generations. Claudio Camilleri, head of the Justice Minister's Secretariat, and Alexander Faruja, director of the Culture Directorate, voiced their support and formally endorsed the Declaration of World Day of the Power of Hope. Dr. Hong presented Minister Jonathan Adderd and Director Alexander Faruja with meaningful gifts, including a compass clock of conscience, a conscience scarf, and a book titled, The History of International Day of Conscience. In addition, keychains featuring the, Smile of Conscience, 
were presented, encouraging the use of a smile to diffuse conflicts and foster peace in crucial moments, extending its impact to family and beyond. These gifts symbolize a commitment to promoting global harmony and development for the minister and his staff. The delegation explored Malta's renowned monuments and attractions, sharing the message of love and peace. Their presence brought smiles and positive energy, embodying the essence of conscience, encouraging everyone to wield their influence. They inspired individuals to contribute to changing the world through love and peace. I have a lot in my family that uh, uh, battled in the first and, and second war, and I am. I understand the problem and I'm really for freedom in, in, in the world. We all have the same blood and we do want world peace. No more fighting, enough. Well, I think it's wonderful what you're doing. Um, everybody should, you know, want love and peace in this world after all what's going on. The more that someone like you, people like yourselves can spread this and try and ch change people's minds that is all for the good so i think it's fantastic keep up the good work work reporter in malta